This is wickedness. It's, wi it's wicked. Wickedness. You see, and you guys, but we believe in the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Yeah. He is God. He is God. Just because you're loud doesn't mean you're right, bro. Jesus. That's okay. It's all right. Jesus loves you. God bless you. God bless you. That's why the Bible says you must be born again. I hereby commend you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. In the name of Jesus. But you have to repent. For the kingdom of God is a name. This is a Bible prophecy being fulfilled as I'm preaching. Moments later. Do you believe in healing? I'm over here. We can have a conversation. You see, we got Satanists. We got people that believe in Satan, right? But we believe in the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. No. No, I'm not married. I'm not having sex. No. But you see, it's, it's, it's not about glorifying sin right now. I don't get sin. I don't get tattoos anymore. This is from my past. We all have a past. No, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. But I'm perfected by faith. I'm perfected by righteousness of God. Alright, but that's not that's not the point though. We all have fallen short of the glory of God, all of us. Yeah, but I'm washed by the blood of Jesus. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that we continue to live in a lifestyle for the sin. That doesn't mean that we continue to live a lifestyle for the sin. What's that? Because I care about your soul. I care about your guys' soul, though. Listen, I'm out here. I'm out here because I love you guys. That's why. And because God loved me first. That's the reason why I'm out here. Because the Bible says it's a sin. Because... But the, no, but if God created me and God loves me and He made me the way I am, why would He do that to me if He didn't end up liking me? I didn't choose to go down this path of sin. That wouldn't make sense. My okay. grandmother was a missionary and she even said, she goes, you know, I get that you love who you love and she still accepts me. She went everywhere around the world to preach the word of God and she, as a Christian, is like, God loves everybody. So how would that make sense? If God didn't love you, would make you like that? Yes. That's a good that question. is very true. God does love you. See, I have an aunt. She's lesbian. She's actually a married lesbian. Now, does that mean that I hate my aunt because she's gay? No. No, see, God hates sin. He doesn't hate the sinner, but he hates sin. He's a holy, righteous God. He's holy, he's without sin. That's why he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross for all humanity. And that's the truth. So the message is, the message is very clear. If you truly want to be changed, you have to seek God in spirit and truth. You have to seek him for he will change you. He will truly change you and transform your life by the Holy Spirit. Can you stop that? Hallelujah. 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 The one that's speaking, how am I inherited? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can you stop? What's the purpose then? Hallelujah. You see, many want to 
deny the holiness of God. But God said, be holy for I am holy. That's what the word of God says. Be holy for I am holy. So if you're living in sin, Jesus Christ wants to set you free. Jesus Christ wants to deliver you from sin. Because of his righteousness, we are accounted righteous by faith in him. And I'm not out here trying to condemn you guys. But the truth is, you guys truly know where you're going when you take your last breath. Do you know? Because I can say confidently that I know where I'm going when I take my last breath. Do you guys know where you're going when you take your last breath? You can go to heaven if you truly believe in Jesus Christ. Why not? Why not? Why don't you believe? I think this is if one person first, whoever wants to talk. But where's the proof? The evidence is all around us. The Bible says that the heavens and the sky proclaim his handy, his his work, his art. I mean, the ground that you're stepping on, how can you not? Do you guys believe that there's a creator? Have you never seen a road made before? What do you mean? But I'm asking you a question. Do you guys believe that there's a higher being, a creator? No. And why is that? Okay, but God created science, though. The proof is documented 500, 500 witnesses in over 2,000 years ago. Just like we have proof of the news, right? We have proof of historical events. What do you mean? But, well, I don't understand that. What do you mean? You can explain if you want. Yeah. You think God makes things to perfection? Absolutely. Absolutely. How many people do you think here right now on this block are not straight? Are not straight? Yeah. We're celebrating pride. I mean, most of the people that celebrating pride, the majority of them did are. Did God make us? Yes, God did make us. We got free will. We got free will. Perfected in Christ. Yes. We got free will. But we have the free will from free the beginning will. since Adam and Eve. Yep. That's the thing. And you know, I'm not out here trying to condemn you guys. I don't know if both of you guys are homosexual. I really don't know. But it's that's not the that's not the point. The point is that I Jesus Christ offers eternal salvation. You know, I'm not out here. This is, this is, this is, this is, why though? What's, what's the point of that? I don't, I don't get it. Why are you being obnoxious for it? Well, okay. well, it's crazy. You see? And we just out here preaching about true love. That's true love. Jesus, that John 3, 16. You want some? You guys are setting hatred. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. This is your bitch. You know you ain't that. Bitch, you can't get that. I can go. Let go, yo. This is, this is wickedness. You see? It's wicked. Wickedness. You see? And you guys. You see? You see? She's manifesting. That's all. Yeah, that's Jezebel. She's that's, manifesting. That's, that's, I rebuke. I rebuke you. That's, 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 that's that spirit of Jezebel. We bind every. Name. We bind every spirit of Jezebel. And the Jesus Bible says, name. whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. We bind every spirit of Jezebel. Jesus name. We bind whatever we bind here on earth will be bound in heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name it's all right. of Jesus. That's okay. It's all right. If Jesus loves you. God bless you. God bless you. And this is exactly why, if you reject the true Jesus, you will go and burn in hell. Amen. That's, that's the truth. That's Amen. The truth. It's I'm the truth. Honest. It's the truth. If you truly reject Jesus, you love you too. if you reject Jesus, you're going only one place. No, but listen, if you reject, if you reject Jesus, that is love. Amen. I see you last time. Amen. So come here. You want to talk? You want to talk? Yeah. Come up. Does it mean hate? Where's, where's the hate about? Nobody chose to be gay. Nobody chose to be gay. Nobody chose to be gay. Okay, but God created us to be a man or a woman. Okay, that's fine. We have two women, but that's not a defining thing. Do you get off on something? Do you like to suck toes? Do you like to suck anything? What does that have to do with, I mean, with Jesus? What, what's in my bedroom doesn't matter. 
what God needs to say. Okay, so why does the Bible say that homosexuals will not inherit the, the kingdom of heaven? Why does it say that? Amen. 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 If you, you know, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, pause, pause, pause. Anybody raise their hand if they truly believe in Jesus? I want to be right Amen. Amen. If I can't see it, I don't believe it. But look. See the wind? I'm feeling that shit. I breathe that shit in. I don't feel Jesus. I don't feel Jesus. Because you haven't you haven't encountered him. That's what. You don't know Jesus, bro. No, you don't know Jesus. I saw you already, bro. You don't believe in Jesus. Give me a verse in the Bible. John 3:16. You should know that very well. John 3:16 says, "God, okay, so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son." To die on the cross for our sins, the only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe. Wearing jewelry is also a sin. That was that a sin. What are you talking about? Talking about the old covenant. Yes, sir. Listen. 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 We all have fallen short. I'm not perfect because I'm here on this night. They're talking about Torah. They're talking about the Torah, bro. They're talking about, they're talking about Torah. That's what. You're talking about the law. The law yeah. of Moses. We're not Jesus under the law no more. said he didn't come to abolish the law, but he came to fulfill it. So we are living in the law of grace. You see, grace and mercy. But if you have the Holy Spirit and you accepted Jesus, Jesus you would be transformed. Yeah. You know, you would be transformed yeah. by the... Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus yeah. is Lord. And Jesus is coming back. And Only that's why we're know. out here now sounding the alarm and letting people know that soon he's coming. And you got to get ready. We care about your souls. We're not out here for no reason. Facts. You see, you guys are very calm right now. And that's the way it should be because that's the anointing breaks the yoke. You see, Jesus loves all you guys, and I love all you guys too. But you gotta understand. So, yeah, yeah. So, if Jesus loves all of us, why are you like kind of like? How am I judging? But like, because like, why are you like seeing like all these like? You being out here is I'm speaking the truth. No, no, no. Fact, like, and I feel you. Like, I'm not like getting on like that for boxing too. Right. But like, facts. But like, it's just like. Just who they are, and, and like just what is wrong with dumb liking the same sex? The Bible is very clear. The Bible is clear as day. It's story. People are. No, no, but no. No, the Bible is inspired word of God. Inspired by God. Inspired Who's gonna write it? A cow? God. Inspired by God? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's supposed to write it? A rooster? Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Inspired by God? You saw how when God wasn't on His earth. It was Jesus. Yeah, he is God. He is God. He's not God. Just because you love doesn't mean you're right, bro. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dickhead. They're God. They're, 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 they're all, not God. They're all God. It's the Son. Because they're all God. Because what you're saying is bullshit. Remember, it's the Father. Do you believe God, in Jesus? The Holy. No, I believe in God. I don't believe in Jesus. Who's God to you? Who's God to me? That's my Father. It's my Father. My Father. That's like the worst argument ever, yo. That's like the worst argument ever. I hate that argument. That argument is so foolish. I just cut my beard. Yo, yo, you're not doing my hair because of King King Samson. King Samson. Hallelujah. Delilah. If you know that story, what? Delilah and King Samson. So that's you like you're supposed to cut your hair in your beard. But no, uh, not really. But remember, it's the Father, the, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that the three are one. That's what it says in Scripture. It says three, the three are one. The Bible says the three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it says the three are one. Jesus said that I and the Father are one. Jesus said, wait, wait, hold on. Jesus said, those, Jesus said those that have seen me have seen the Father. So can you say? You know why you said that, right? Why? Because he actually, though, there's a scroll. So that, so that new man thousands of years ago when the Bible was actually written. Who put, who put himself in the Jesus, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Amen. That's why he's God. You just, you just said it with your own mouth. You just said it with, you just said it with your own mouth. You just said it with your own mouth, bro. Jesus is God. You just said it. So that argument is, is no good. More than half the verses have been changed. So you can't really say, oh, well, it's like Jesus' word. We don't really know what Jesus, what Jesus and God's word is because it's been changed all the time. You know, so it doesn't give you like a reliable source. Actually, though, there's uh, scrolls. Scrolls. 
thousands of years ago when the Bible was actually written. If you want to look it up, you can look up the Dead Sea Scrolls. There's a, a whole list of scrolls that actually confirms the identification of the Word of God from today to thousands of years ago when it was written. So that argument is is no good. But yeah, we're just we're just here to proclaim the truth. We're Amen. just here to let you know that Jesus Christ, that He's the only way. Amen. It's not a it's not a message of hate. Amen. It's a message of love. But see, God, He doesn't allow everything to enter His kingdom. The same way, the same way, God, He says for us not to be alcoholics and drug addicts and murderers and things like that. It's the same way. It's the same way, God. He doesn't allow homosexuality because the purpose God created humans was to dwell on earth and to multiply. reproduce. Amen. Hallelujah. God created Adam and Eve. He didn't create Adam and another Adam. He created. <laughs> he didn't create Adam and Steve. God did not create Adam and Steve. He created Adam and Eve for a reason, for us to reproduce and for us to populate the earth and to enjoy our life. God didn't create us to be sterile and not reproduce. The reason why? Because he wants us to enjoy his creation. He wants us to dwell together and to understand that he is the one who created us in his image. And so if he created us in his image, why would he make us not to continue to reproduce that image if it's stated in his word? No, I definitely believe what you're saying. But I just want to walk through the You said how you created Adam and Eve. How you created Adam and Eve. Right. Both part, they're going so against what his word says. Wait, wait, wait. So that's why the action is wrong. All right. So, and plus, it's uh, like, yeah, yeah, I could go on and on, but that's why. Don't worry. I feel you. I'm just here to have a good fun. Can I pray for you? What's your name, bro? So, if he gave us the free will, he didn't want us to send do all that stuff like that, then why would he, like, give us free will? If it was truly meant to be the way that you said it was, nobody would be thinking the way that they're thinking. No, you wouldn't even right now if you didn't have that free will that God gave us. So therefore, our will to love and leave, are we going to love another man or love another man? God gave us that too. Okay, okay, so the only thing about that is God didn't create robots. He created human beings. See, robots are the only things created. Well, obviously, technology is developing. But robots are created to perform a purpose and not to change. But God didn't create us as robots. He created us with free will. It's, it's kind of like a teacher gives a test. A teacher gives a test to see who really studied. If God didn't give us free will, he wouldn't know or wouldn't see us exemplify who's actually following him. But when God, he gives us a free will, it shows who actually wants to serve him and who doesn't. Ta talking in circles. Hallelujah, but Jesus Christ, he gave us free will. Yes, but that doesn't mean wrong is right. I'm not, I'm not 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. No, I'm Hey, God bless you in Jesus' name. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had to cut it short um, because just the audio just wasn't that good because of how loud it was in that place. But, you know, the lady right here, uh, who I'm putting right here. Yeah, we ended up having a, a long conversation, a long conversation, and I ended up praying for her. And uh, I ended up, end up getting words of knowledge from the Holy Spirit about us. Uh, certain things that she was dealing with spiritually and i was praying for her and god was just moving so keep her in prayer as well everybody everybody that you've seen um us and encounter us brothers in christ encounter uh keep them in prayer don't just like watch the video and be like oh they're, they're living in wickedness no let's let's pray for them there's power in prayer the bible says the fervent the fervent effectual prayer of righteous man avails much uh there's nothing god that cannot do he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we may ask or think all right so let's keep them in prayer. Prayer changes things in Jesus' mighty name. All right, uh, more videos coming soon. Keep me in prayer. Thank you guys for the support. Love ya. Jesus' name.